cell formats. They start at 6 o'clock in the morning. When I type 6, it is not clear that it is time. So I have to change it to the time format. I select the cell from Home tab in Numbers section. You see the format of the cell is general. Open this drop-down menu and select time. But you see, 6 has disappeared. Don't worry. It is because we entered just 6. We have to enter time format. Like 0, 6, colon, 0, 0. Then right-click on the selected cell. Format cells. In the number tab, select time category. So we can choose the time format here. Or from custom, it is possible to edit the appearance. For example, I remove one minute and one second. If it is done, press on OK. You see how our time is shown. The day shift starts from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. I type 5 as time format. This time, I won't right click again and choose time format because I did this procedure before. I select time cell, then select this brush tool. What is it? It is a match style. It copies the style of the cell. The font type, color, size of the cell, generally the format of the cell. Then on which cell we click, it pastes the format of the selected cell. Cell size. Okay, here is manpower. I type it. Again, manpower. In front of the second manpower, we have present, rest, absent, mission and total like the resources so i copy and paste them here as you see the cells are not proper to see the whole texts because the size of the cells are not matched with the text match the cell size is one of the simplest tricks in excel for matching the cell size with the text in it Double click on the line from top where the cell is. For matching this present cell from top, I double click on this right line. If you have a bunch of unmatched cells, just select them from top and double click on one of the right cells. Cell rotation. I want to change the rotation of the cells. Instead of horizontal, it can be vertical. This icon helps us. Select the cells. Press the icon. From drop down menu, select Rotate Text Up. Or right click on Selected Cells, Format Cells, Alignment, then you can choose the direction or type the degree. Paste options. From resources under total cell is zero. I didn't type zero. It contains formula. If I double click on this cell, you see the sum formula. I copy the cell. Now, the cell with its formula, its value which was zero, the format is copied. I have to decide which one I need. Come back to form, on a cell under total, right click. You see paste options. We have talked about two options before. Now, let's paste with fx. The formula is pasted here. If I copy this formula cell and paste it with value, just zero paste it, not the formula. I select both cells and copy. On an empty cell, I right click and press on transpose. As you see, this option changes the rotation of the copied cells. This one pastes the format. 
and finally the link option. I press on it. The cells are copied, but they are linked to the copied cells. If I select one of these linked cells, you see it is linked with the address of the copied cell. I change this 0 into 1. When I press and enter, the linked ones also changed. I copy a cell again, then right click somewhere. Here is Paste Special. It is possible to select from predefined paste options or from Paste Special. We can define it according to our needs. Finishing. For saving time, I'm going to copy and paste it from the form which I've created before. As a homework, fill this form like the resources sheet. Work with formats, with cell sizes, with copy and paste options, and all the topics which you've learned in this tutorial. Hint, don't forget the important thing in form designing is that after visualizing and sketching, when you want to enter the sketch into the Excel file, start from the beginning and fill the cells vertically.